women often have different needs in a concealed carry handgun. While men's clothes fit and wear in the same different pattern, whether it's for work, casual or more formal attire, women wear a wide variety of styles from form-fitting stretch pants to loose tunics or dresses. Many have relatively low hand strength and are sensitive to recoil. The development of defensive concealed pistols is in a period of unprecedented growth and development, and the result is that what was the best gun is still a great gun, but new models are always pushing the envelope. Women need guns that are light, small, easy to operate, and easy to shoot well. All the guns chosen are capable of concealed carry use, and all weigh in at about 20 ounces or less. But before getting into the list details, consider dropping a like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this, and let's dive right in. Springfield Hellcat Rapid Defense Package The Hellcat Rapid Defense Package has the same capacity as the original at 11, plus 1, flush fit magazine, or 13 plus 1, extended mag, but has a longer overall length 7 inches because of the 3.8 inch long fretted barrel. Width is still 1 inch, while the compensator adds roughly an ounce to overall weight. Height from bottom of grip to slide is the same as the original Hellcat. The auto dimming brightness adjustment helps increase battery life and is ideal for covering a wide spectrum of lighting conditions. It's a great option for simplifying concealed carry use because, assuming you have battery power, shooters can simply draw from the holster and not worry about turning it on or off or manually adjusting brightness levels. The other key feature on the new Hellcat Rapid Defense Package is the patented self-indexing compensator, which directs gas upward to help tame whatever muzzle rise the handgun produces. In turn, this allows for faster follow-up shots and rapid target acquisition. Because it is self-indexing, the compensator can be easily removed or reinstalled without worrying if it's in the right position. While the Hellcat is not new, there are enough significant new features on the Rapid Defense Package version to stand up and take notice. Overall, the grip was good, picking up the dot and sights was easy, and the gun shot reliably and accurately with no malfunctions or other issues. Smith & Wesson Shield EZ380 It's the easiest to shoot and operate centerfire pistol in existence. It has good sights, a decent trigger, and it's easy to shoot well. It's the largest gun in the group and weighs the most, but anyone can operate the slide and load the magazine without a loading tool. While some might argue I should have chosen the 9mm version, I felt it was getting a bit heavy for what women preferred. There were a lot of compliments on magazine loading, ease of racking the slide and light recoil. Issues were that a really high thumbs forward grip sometimes left the grip safety engaged, and the final round from a magazine sometimes popped up vertical causing a misfeed. Ruger Max 380 it's scandalously light at under 11 ounces, less than an inch wide and super concealable. There's also a raised wing at the rear of the slide that allows better grip for pinch and pull cycling of the slide. The slightly larger grip makes it easy to shoot well with little compromise in concealability. There was mention that it was difficult to load the last few rounds in the magazine and that clearing the chamber required a definite snap to get a loaded round to clear the ejection port. The size, weight, and the slight T-shape at the rear of the slide. Concealment is what this gun is all about. Engineering a very light, compact pistol is all about compromises. Lighter guns mean more muzzle rise. Shorter barrels are easy to conceal but forfeit velocity and reduce sight radius. Ruger has always leaned toward concealability with its pistols. SIG P365XL P365 family is modular like its larger sibling, the P320. The serialized trigger group can be swapped into different grip modules and the user can change slide and barrel lengths at will. This meant I could upgrade to a boresight solutions grip without losing my gun for months. The ergonomics of the pistol overall are excellent, the gun is comfortable to hold onto, and the 10-round magazine with slight pinky extension is absolute money. It's as short as a grip can get and still allow me to hold onto it. Under the trigger guard is an excellent high undercut that helps maximize the grip. The grip is also thin and comfortable in hand. The magazine release is large and easy to reach, which I like. The problem here is dropping a magazine. I find my pinky and palm creating pressure and holding the magazine inside the gun when I hit the release. This is a classic big hand, small gun problem. The gun is capable of both shooting and carrying all day long. While it's not been without its problems, overall I think the category of micro. Nines the P365XL is a leading example of is an excellent option. Smith & Wesson Shield Plus at one time, the Smith & Wesson Shield boasted a 20% share of the entire concealed carry market. Introduced in 2003, 
it was probably the best choice for a concealed carry handgun. The Shield 2.0 was a solid improvement with a better trigger and grip surface, but facing a surge of 10-plus capacity competitors, Smith & Wesson introduced the Shield Plus. With a flat face trigger, a slightly less aggressive grip texture, and 10 and 13 round magazines, the upgrade is substantial. In short, the Shield Plus is a great gun. The Shield Plus is a very good gun. It's a bit larger than most of the other contenders and carries a little more weight, but it's accurate, easy to shoot well and reliable as a rock. Ruger MAX-9 In 2021, Ruger created an impressive entry in the micro-compact market with the MAX-9. This optics-ready, 12-round capacity, 9mm pistol had a slim profile and was designed for concealment. My first impressions of the MAX-9 were completely positive. I like the sights and trigger and the combination of small size, low weight and good magazine capacity, make it an excellent choice. As mentioned, this gun is intended to be carried concealed. The size explores those fine edges where concealability reigns and function begins to drop off. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon so you do not miss out when we release a new episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.